Hey guys, this is me again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the configuration that I have here for my setup um, to run five uh, monitors. In the previous video uh, I briefly presented the system but uh, I, w uh, I wasn't getting in into uh, uh, details. Now I'll just like to uh, I'd like you to, sh to see what kind of uh, setup do I have and what kind of um, options did I choose in order to have that uh, five monitors uh, are running. I'm talking about the five monitors because there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four for instrument panel and then this is the fifth one, this is the GPS and it's also considered a uh, monitor. Just uh, uh, simply to remind you about uh, the system that I have over here for uh, for that particular setup. I use um, Asus uh, Maximus uh, 6 Hero motherboard uh, also with the Intel Haswell i7 4 uh, correction R7 7 OK processor uh, which is 3.5 gigahertz um, I have uh, two graphic cards and this is uh, pretty important information because um, those the first graphic card with, which is the GTX 770 which is a 4 gigabyte card runs the three main monitors and then the second card which is the GT620 2 gigabytes runs the monitor number 4 and monitor number 5. I have uh, also two gigabyte uh, two correction two hard drives SSD uh, Samsung 120 gigabytes um, just just for a program for a Microsoft Flight Simulator and then I have a one terabyte hard drive um, uh, that I use for uh, the remaining stuff. Uh, okay, um, let's have a look at the, um, the connections. So the first, the first graphic card, the main one, the GTX uh, 770, has uh, four connections. Uh, one stays uh, empty, which is the Display Port, and I use um, two. DVI cables and one HDMI cable to connect those three monitors. The second card, um, the instrument panel has a VGA connection and then the GPS has a, is using the um, VGA um, VGA is by with the DVI to VGA adapter because um, the the monitor takes already the VGA spot, so I, I had to um, use the adapter in order to plug it into the um, the DVI port in the computer. Um, okay, let's let's take a look at the options that I picked for um, NVIDIA surround uh, setup. So so things are a little bit more clear. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that uh, yet or not, but. Uh, I am not by any means any kind of a computer expert and and um, that setup that I did I don't know how I did it <laughs> I know a little bit but uh, I used a lot of intuition um, and it took a, took a little bit you know to uh, in order to get everything um, working just like it is right now and um, okay so let's uh, let's go to let's go to Nvidia control panel and let's see what kind of options did I pick here. Uh, adjust image settings with preview. No, does not apply. Manage 3D settings. That's the options that I have over here. You guys can take a look. Then the third option is uh, configure surround and physics. And I mark the span. Mm. I mark the span display with surround that is checked. And if we go to configure, that's what we'll have. Um, displays, arrange displays. And that's the options that I have here. And then if we go to processor, 
I have an auto select which is recommended and physics look like that well, let's see what else do we have over there well, this is pretty much it when it comes to that change resolution resolution is gonna be pretty much this is the surround display is check here and the resolution that I have is 5760 by 1080 and you will get the kind of uh, resolution when you will be uh, setting up the, the surround uh, uh, mode uh, system mm, that's pretty much three times the one monitor uh, resolution and then I have a refresh rate 60 uh, Hertz and um, color depth higher 32 bit let's say if we go to here it's just customize uh, nothing is checked here this is kind of stays empty okay um, let's go to adjust desktop color settings that's pretty much straightforward rotate display um, I have an landscape mode that that's just uh, how it looks like uh, view HD SP status that's what I have here set up digital audio we don't need to adjust desktop size and position I have a full screen also gain the surround display the resolution 5760 uh, by 1080 and next one is a setup multiple displays I click that and that's what I have two cards GeForce GTX 770 and surround display and then GT620 first connection is analog then uh, uh, hand spray display gets the um, <coughs> instrument panel that I have here and that's how it looks like um, <clears throat> now if we go to surround spanning options oh, we'll get the same the same thing uh, okay, actually jumps back to back to the top and uh, what else um, about a basal correction here where was it I'm looking for the basal um, basal correction so I configure surround configure this that one yes basal correction here we go if we go to configure surround and uh, physics you'll have also the second options I, I guess we forgot the first time it was a basal correction here and um, do you want to use basal correction yes add special re resolutions that's that's the op uh, options I picked here and then what you will get is that you'll have to kind of see if that's what you get there 312 and you'll have to play with it let me not play with it right now because I have a set up just the way I like it and uh, I won't be messing up with that messing around with that but that's how it looks in my setup so you guys can have an idea um, well let's see identify if okay here we go if we go identify if we go monitor 3 1 and there was a 2 let's do it again monitor 3 1 and 2 and let's cancel that let's don't save any of those changes so this that's pretty much how my setup look uh, looks like now I want you uh, to see what I do um, when I when I'm in inside the, the program so I'm gonna go to uh, Microsoft flight simulator I'm gonna put volume all the way down because it's gonna be a lot of uh, background noise in the video system starts all my pan panels uh, are lit up um, and we're gonna pick up just a random flight so you guys can see uh, what do I do actually um, 
inside the program. Um, let's pick up a random field here, maybe with some. Uh, let's do Klagenfurt in Austria. And here, when you get that surround uh, system set up in the NVIDIA um, menu, then you'll have to, of course, pick up your um, new resolution, which will be um, uh, again the 5760 by 1080 32. Uh, you'll have to pick up that resolution. It will autom automatically show here once you have it set up in the NVIDIA. Um, uh, setup page it will automatically show over here. So let's go to free flight, and that's what I get when the when the program turns on. Let me turn the light here. Let's see if it's better. If I have the light on, maybe not. Uh, Alright, that's better. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> what do I do to get my to get my four and number five monitor working? Is I just press uh, A until I get until I get that screen, and then it's just the simplest thing ever. You just have to resize the. Uh, you just uh, grab the the the, the cockpit uh, panel here. Kind of resize that. And simply drag over those monitors. It goes through that one. And it shows over here. And that's how I get my instrument panel. And I found this solution is the best. Instead of uh, buying the the hardware here, I rather have that. I rather have a monitor here, so I can have different options available for me. Anyways, I have that um, instrument panel right here on the monitor number four. And now, what I do is I'll have to resize that. Just, just drag it, and you just zoom it out. You just zoom it out by pressing uh, space and scrolling and scrolling down, and that's what we got. Now I'll go to, um, that's my little shortcut here, to get to the GPS page. Boom, I got a GPS page uh, on the screen. I do the same thing. I resize that, drag it, and it's gonna show up over here. Boom, and I got my GPS, and just play with the size until I get my fitment and that's GPS by the way is a good thing I bought it in um, desktop aviator it was about $270 right now but it's the best thing ever uh, it really adds so much to your simulator and this is what I have I have uh, the outside view I have my instrument panel and I got my GPS and everything works really good. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that little video and I hope you found some uh, valuable information for you. Um, like I said before, please, you know, if I made some kind of mistake by explaining something, you know, uh, uh, don't hate me for it. Uh, by any means, I'm not a computer expert. And like I said before, I did everything by using my intuition and somehow it works. <laughs> So, hope you enjoyed that video and uh, next ones will be coming uh, soon. Take care.